Is that Trina Mir? That looks like Trina Mir. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's Kyle? Nice. Oh, wait. Is it two Kyles? Wait, wait, wait. Don't follow. Don't follow. Wait. Because <laughs> uh, we're going to hear the little beeping sound. Oh, that's sick. So someone was asking about like light direction. There's light people doing or making the decisions to know. Oh wait, that's Morgana. Is it Morgana? I was a Morgana main back in the day. It's Morgana, shit. Oh man, this is so sick. Jaswo, please! Is it Jaswo or is it freaking his brother? Trailers are always so hype, man. It's Yon, right? Is that Yon? I think that's his name. Oh, it's Yasuo? It is Yasuo? Oh, it is Yasuo. Shit, like an old Yasuo. That's nice. I like how they switch from like different parts of Runeterra. I've always loved the freaking lore from League of Legends. It's, it's a shame that the game is so toxic or so stressful, but the lore and the characters, oof. Oh, I have the mask. We did the mask. I need to paint it though. It's pretty cool, Kindred. We should now paint the mask, man. That should be like on our top priority. Is it over? Oh man, I want to see more. <laughs> that was so cool. That was so freaking cool. It's always let me let me get the volume down. It's always so inspiring to see the amazing things that people can create. In one one thing that I I want you guys to know, it's not a one person effort, right? Like this amazing things that we see, it's not just one person. It, it will be impossible for me to show you how to do all of this because not one person can do this. You need animators, riggers, modelers, hair artists, lighters, post production, audio uh, effects. So so it's so 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 many things. So don't think like when you see these things. Feel inspired by them. Don't feel, don't feel, because I, I know some people feel like demotivated. It's like, oh, I'm never going to be able to do something like this by yourself. No, I, I really, really doubt it. But in a team, of course, like if you're part of a team and you grab a group of people and all of you guys like work together to create something amazing like this, of course you can do it. It's very, very cool, guys. Like this is so, so cool. 
I love the characters. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> okay, so we got our uh, our giveaway going on. We got only 24 entries, so you guys can still... You got a, a big shot. Make sure to go into the Discord and... Um, and um, and submit on the little like uh, events so that you can get this fourth live stream. And if we get to 750, we're gonna have a fifth live, a fifth uh, giveaway as well. Yeah, the light, the textures, the music, the compositions right here, all of this makes this whole thing. But again, it's not a single person work. It's a team effort. Doing productions at this level, it's a team effort. There's a lot of money involved. There's a lot of time involved. I can guarantee they spent at least, at least eight months working on this. At least. I'm not sure how many people, but it's it's a lot. Yeah, it's like the Blizzard CGI. Now, I'm not sure if they did this internally at Riot because they were building their own sort of like cinematic department for a while, or if they um, contracted Blur, which was the studio that used to do um, uh, used to do this sort of stuff um, for a long time. But yeah, this is freaking amazing, man. We should make a cinematic similar to this quality in the community. Yeah, I mean, we can try that, man. That would be cool if we did like a group project. It does require a lot of organization, though. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very, very cool. One year plus. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it, it takes a long time to make this sort of stuff. A long time. And welcome, welcome, Timo, Timo Tio. That's why I don't go to our station and where I feel so demotivated. No, but again, Lord Fantasma, it's not about whenever you see cool stuff, don't feel demotivated. Think about what can you learn? Like, I'm gonna like I'm gonna give you one of my secrets right now. Look at this. Like, I look at this scene with uh, Trindamir, right? Which is probably the closest character to the demon character I did with Next to last year. And I look at this and I'm like, okay, what can I learn from this character, from the model and textures of this character that I could apply to my own stuff? And immediately, the first thing that I saw was this scar. It's like, okay, that looks sick. Can I do that inside of Substance? How would I do it? How would I approach that scar? It's a displacement. It's probably displacement, right? Because it really pushes from the surface. It's not a normal map bake. So that means that, they, of course, they use displacement, right? I know that they use displacement. But it's like, look at the textures. Look at the colors. Look at the forms of the muscles. Okay, The deformation on the muscles, that tells me like how they bump and push. They're using SIBA or something to, to model it and generate all that stuff. So whenever I see this sort of stuff, I always enjoy it. But I also ask myself, what things can I learn from this? Like, look at that. On the on the shoulder pad. Oh. The shoulder pad has... Ah, it's, a, it's just a frame. Can I go back? The, there we go. Look at that. So the shoulder pad... The, the stitching on the shoulder pad is modeled in. Like all of these elements right here, all of the little ropes that you got over there, they're modeled in. So hey, maybe the next time I do a shoulder pad, I'll make it way more complex. I'll add more stuff and change the sweat. I know this is again cinematic level. It's not for, for games, but it's something that we can do and we can use to learn and increase our own, our, our own work. So don't feel demotivated. Try to find the inspiration. Try to find things that you look at the elements and be like, how could I do that? What do I need? What Again, do you remember the goal-oriented stuff? What kind of goal or what kind of tools do I need to learn to be able to do that? Two more followers and we do a fifth giveaway. And we got only one minute for this last giveaway. We're already at 64 entries. There you go. 65. Uh, it's kind of apologies I mentioned. Uh, lol, they did not make proper thing for last season. Made, yeah, yeah, I remember that. There you go. Followed by Note, uh, Note Alexander. Yeah, I remember, I mean, I liked the last one, but it was more animated, more like a, I, th I think it was sort of like game engine. There you go, we got to our follower goal, and that means that we're going to have a final giveaway. It's just going to be a, let's do a 10 minute giveaway, Sarn, um, after we finish this for one that was uh, sponsored by our good friend, Razvan Stiefel Bauer. Vamos, crudo miniatures, let's go, let's go. Kravita, buenas, puedo mandar un link que encontré la página de lore que pusieron los personajes? Yeah, 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 send it, Kravita. I mean, I, I should be able to find it as well. And we got 20 seconds for the element. Let's see. Making of. Some stuff in here. We got the link. I just sent it on the chat room or something. It's like, I don't know if we can share links here. And we got the winner for this one is... Five. Wait, what? No, it ended. Who is it? Jonah. Jonah ninety eight. There you go, my friend. Jonah ninety eight. You got the 
Um, the fourth uh, giveaway for today's stream. Congratulations, my friend. I'm going to be messaging all of the guys in the next couple of hours um, here through Discord. So make sure to stay online. I'm going to be asking which uh, course you want. I'm going to be giving you, of course, the link so that you can redeem it on our page. Darkness Shadow, thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a, a behind the scenes. I'm trying to find it, but it's not here. Congrats, congrats. And uh, David is setting up one final giveaway because we managed to get to our follower goal as well. Let's turn the music back on. A little bit empty without our chill hop music. There we go. There we go. Bravita, let's check the link. No, I don't think the link is showing, Kravita. I think uh, Discord, like, uh... But let me look at... Let's look. Link of Legends... It has to be on the on the side or something, right? Uh, news. Oh. There we go. Is this one? Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. The Kindred is really, it's really freaky. It's really weird, but that's really freaking cool. This, guys, this material that they're sharing, this is freaking gold. Like, you can learn so much from this. Like, look at this. Look at this. Let's look at Aatrox's sword. Can we? Oh, come on. Let me zoom in or something. Let's go to Photoshop. Oh. Oh, the look at this so you can learn and try to try to copy some of the same look at the damage remember the rule that i always tell you about metal edgeware about not having metal edgeware everywhere and just having it on some areas they did just that like the metal edgeware that they have it's very simple metal edgeware on the borders of the sword but it's not everywhere it's on certain areas this blood thing is definitely freaky. I'm not sure how they managed to do that. I'm not sure if it's just texture, if it's models, or if it's simulation or what. But it looks very, very cool. But the sword itself, something that should be able to do. It's not that difficult. It's a relatively easy element. Now, why does the texture look so high quality? Because it probably is using like a ton of units. So, again, this thing right here, if you want to spend like one hour looking at these things and trying to learn from them, it's a great way to... To see things look at how the hair is done look at how the sword is done here for jaswo the chains morgana right there the morgana model was very cool the column model was very cool as well but i really like the morgana one copy this image so for this one i guarantee i guarantee that they probably use some marble designer for the dress and then they brought it into Seabrush. Like all of this fine wrinkles that you see right here, that's something that you definitely do inside of Seabrush because marble doesn't have that level of control. But this sleeves right here, look at this, this asymmetrical sort of like sleeve that they have. It can be sculpted. I'm not saying it cannot be sculpted, but uh, but it probably like you can definitely do it in, inside of marbles as well. Okay, we got the last giveaway um, ready on our stream or on our Discord. We got eight minutes left, so make sure to jump. This is going to be the last one for today. And with this one, we're going to be closing the stream. Uh, I still got stuff to do over here. I would love to spend all the time here just like watching it. Amazing, um, amazing elements, but uh, I, I still got some work to do. Um, so yeah, make sure to jump into the Discord and go to get the chance of getting another, another premium course there. We're giving away another premium course. And let's answer some final questions. Toasted says, maybe it's a weird question, but what is the best way to improve my eye to be better at matching concepts to 3D, for example? Usually, Toasted, you do need a little bit of help because, unfortunately, the way we train our eye, we need the feedbacks from other ones. Now, if you're not at school and you don't have a teacher that you can like get this sort of like feedback uh, from, make sure to drop your stuff on the Works in Progress or on the 3D Workshop and tag me there, and I'll be happy to give you like some pointers on, on where you can look for some stuff. You're so lucky. Don't worry, man. We're going to have more giveaways. Thankfully, now with the new website, we can do this more often. With Udemy, it was very difficult <laughs> because what I had to do is I had to buy the premium course through my account and then give it to you 
or, or send the, the code to you, kind of like a gift. It was very like convoluted. And then unfortunately the money would take like two months to get back to me. So it was just like a little bit difficult. Now we don't even worry about money. I just create a 100% off coupon and I give it to you directly. So, so that's all we need. Is it okay to use a lot of polys for models that will be used only for cinematics? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're cinematics, you can go crazy. You can do, um, you can do, what's the word? You can do displacement maps. You can do like millions of polygons. It doesn't matter. Uh, in the Discord channel, if you jump to the events tab here on the Discord channel, just join our Discord channel, go to the events tab and there click on this little thing right there, uh, the little popper so that you can get access to the premium course giveaway. Can you write my sword? It's on a 3D workstation. Right, let's take a look. Oh, cool. The Ignited Inferno? Is that the Ignited Inferno uh, thing? <laughs> Staple Power! Come on, man! You, I'm gonna end up like making a custom like course for you just because of all of the donations. Thank you very much, man. Please make the last giveaway three giveaways for this special time today, and then I'm out of the stream. <laughs> don't worry, man. Don't worry. Um, I'm not sure how we can do that, though. Is there an option, uh, Sarn? We can like do another giveaway there or, or, or have like three winners. We'll, we'll give away two more. Don't worry, man. We'll give away two more. But um, Sarn is going to help me with that. OK, let's take a look at this one. So we, we don't normally do this, but I'm going to make a favor here for lightning so that we can give this thing right here. So he wants us to review this. We're going to have portfolio review next week, by the way, guys. So if you want to submit a single piece or your full portfolio, make sure to submit on the on this one, the January 2024 portfolio review right here. Just drop a message, drop your art station link or a link to your work, and I'll be checking it out. But right now we're checking this Ignited Inferno Blade. So this is a good weapon. I like the sculpture. It does feel a little bit heavy on the side, on the top side, and the handle seems very small. So... It, it kind of reads a little bit more like a dagger because trying to hold this will be a little bit complicated. And one of the things that we definitely need to improve are the textures. So texturing wise, this looks very flat, doesn't read like fire. It reads a little bit more like just like yellow paint. I understand that you're going for this sort of like, again, magma sort of like effect, but um, but it's a, it's a very, very cool like effect. Now, I'm not sure if you're following the axe course and you're trying to do your own version because I see some elements in here which are working like this is stones poking out but you need to play a little bit more with shapes usually when you have this big shapes right here you don't want to have big shapes and then very small shapes it's always sort of like a progression and this is something that i learned from zebras <laughs> and giraffes so if you like like a giraffe nature has a very interesting way of like designing things and uh, i had a teacher she always said that nature is the best designer so if you look at the giraffe and you look at the spots of the giraffe you're gonna see that we have the biggest spots on the biggest area, which is the chest and the and the and the rib cage. And once we start going to the to the legs and towards the head, the the spots become smaller and smaller and smaller. This sort of like gradient is very very common throughout all nature. You're never gonna see like a big chunk followed by a very small chunk. It's sort of always kind of like a like a fade in effect. And you can see this, for instance, if we look for mushroom pattern. Let's see, or mushroom. If you look at mushrooms, you're gonna see this. Um, uh, like here, right? Like the little, like white dots of the mushroom. They never just like have like super huge one and then super small ones. It's always like a gradient, right? Like little gradient of, of points all around the place. So you want to make sure that you incorporate this sort of like design decisions on your elements. Cause if you don't want what ends up happening, it just looks like you just place something in there and it, it just like brings the design like lower again, check the balance of the object, check how how big the handle has to be compared to it. I know like we have like the buster sword from uh, from Final Fantasy. It's like super exaggerated, but um, but yeah. Can I put the link to the Riot characters? Yes, of course. This one's in Spanish, but you should be able to find the um, you should be able to find the English one right there. If you guys are looking for the for the League of Legends like breakdown, it's right here. It's amazing. And you know why they did this? They're super smart. You know why they did this? They didn't do it so that us 3D artists could benefit from, from the information that they're providing. No, they did it for the cosplayers. This is for cosplayers. They want cosplayers to start building these things to get them more promotion, of course. So a lot of this shit, and the reason why they do this as like different views is for cosplayers. But the cool thing is, for us as character artists, this is gold. Like you could literally try to replicate um, like Kyle's wings or, or this sword right here. Like if you want to try modeling a sword, 
there you go. You got front view, you got side view, you got three quarter view, you got all of the information that you need, and you can try to match it as close as possible to this one right here. Okay, there's the arrow right there. All of these models, for instance, it's not the modeling wise, it's not that difficult. Shading wise, it is tricky. To get it to look like ice, that's that's tricky shit. <laughs> Ash is amazing. Look at all the detail right there. 